So this is another kit right here. So after I did that last video about the backpack that uh, was recently rediscovered in my daughter's closet, I decided, hey, let's uh, visit another uh, kind of nostalgia kit that I made. This one is actually a um, bucket that I was going to uh, bury in the ground on the way to a uh, bug out location. This was back kind of more into my uh, prepper days. Um, I've since kind of moved on to a general preparedness and more of a wilderness uh, survival bushcraft uh, mentality of things. I like that a lot better, uh, just going out and having fun in nature than focusing more on, on the doom and gloom of the world. So what this is, is this is just a uh, five gallon waterproof uh, bucket that you can get at any uh, hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. This one's from Lowe's. I said, hey, let's uh, crack this open, see what's in here. So the point would be to bury this in the ground somewhere and then dig it up on your way to your bug out location or perhaps even at your bug out location. Okay, so inside the bucket, I have a dry bag. So even though the bucket is supposed to be waterproof, it definitely would help to have redundancy there. All right, inside, right on top, first aid kit. Uh, probably expired, ooh, right off hand. I should clip that because in case there is an emergency, don't want to be hunting around for something to clip that with to get in. Uh, medications, ointment might be dry, wipes might be dry, ibuprofen probably needs to be replaced, antihistamines replaced, acetaminophen needs to be replaced, aspirin, those will probably all need to be replaced. Uh, Hey, whistle and a compass, okay. And survival instructions. Oh, okay. Not terrible here. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and... Just get that taken care of right now. Right tool for the right job, right? Well, not quite. There it goes. Okay, so now this will easily be accessible in case I ever do use this kit. Now, large mouse trap, small mouse trap for catching a uh, small game. Good procurement, good idea. Okay, a couple liters fishing. Again, more food procurement. Good. Uh, where's the end of this? Okay, there we go. Okay, a sling. Uh, I guess you could call that food procurement, or if you wanted to chuck a rock or an acorn or something way off in the distance as a distraction, that would work. But uh, you'd need to be very skilled and proficient to use one of these. Um, not the most... Uh, effective hunting tool these days, but I mean, you get the job done if you were good enough at it. Okay, 50 feet. Paracord, decent. Okay, uh, oh. Okay, dryer lint, and I just totally did not remember that I had a couple of these um, split key rings and uh, safety pins in there, wow. Bandana, can opener, um, easy one. Eh, maybe that could be replaced with a smaller one, but I'm sure I put that in there for ease of use. Got some 12 gauge ammo and some 410. Uh, also some Tokarov. Uh, 
762 by 25. Those could be used for either bartering, um, breaking open using the powder for fire starter or, well, for firearms, of course. A little fishing kit. Cool. What is this? Uh, oh, just a little humidity indicator for the bag. Life straw. Uh, knife care kit or oil. That's nice. Uh, fruit salad. I don't know why I put that in there. That would not uh, last. Best Buy 2015. And if that's going to be in there and buried for, let's say, 10 years, this thing will definitely swell and go bad. And if it popped in there, ooh, that would not be good. Um, I'm just going to throw that away. Uh, vegetable blend. Nice, but... Uh, Expired 2013. Holy moly. That's going to go in the trash. Ah, the, the Yoder's bacon. Ah, this is some interesting bacon. Not terrible. Not not terrible bacon, actually. Um, it's supposed to be good for, I think it was like 25 years. <laughs> Something like that. But it's expensive, though. It's like $19 for this can. But you know what? It's It'll do you. It'll do you all right. That'll stay. Uh, maybe get some more of that. Uh, oh, to beans, 2015. That's got to go. I gotta get some longer shelf life stuff in here. And some rations. Again, some of those emergency rations that have gone bad. And it looks like I accidentally cut them going in there. Okay, hey, the Stanley Cook set. The little cup, dual cup inside. A little pot. I don't think I really need these cups, but no, I guess I'll just keep them. Uh, wait, how did I just have that? Ah, there we go. There we go. Learn how to use your gear, Denali. It's been a while since I've used one of those. Okay, oh, some uh, 22. Some 22 LR, okay. Um, okay, some more tea light candles and a USB cord, which this cord will probably have to be upgraded because they've changed uh, cord types since then. And the Mylar blanket, which probably need to be upgraded to the newer ones. Foldable uh, pocket sharpener, uh, dual grit. This one is, which one is this? Oh, there we go. Does this say which grit this is? Okay, I can't see on here what the grit was on this one. I'm sure you guys probably know by just the colors if you know these. I don't know what it is though. Uh, playing cards. Shower curtain, you're probably wondering, why do you have a big old shower curtain? That's for the super shelters um, instead of the um, the plastic um, sheets that you can get. I figured the shower curtain would probably be better because it's a little more durable, plus it has grommets on it so you can tie it. Um, there we go, little uh, nail cutter and trimmer. Uh, I've got... Waterproof, stormproof matches. And these little uh, water purifying tablets. Again, the compass and fire starter. Wish I bought more of these. And what's that? Oh, a little absorber. And oh, a couple knives. I thought I only had one in there, a couple knives. So we have the Cold Steel Bushman. Really cool. So 
can use it as a as a spear or um, put a cork in there on each side put a little kit in there uh, do I have something in the pouch oh something's in the pouch oh okay a little kit in the pouch of um, a little, kind of little bolt in there and also the cold steel GI Tonto I think that's what this one's called Chris Tanner prepared mine 101 did a kind of a cool vid um, about this where he modified it did some customizations to it that was pretty cool um, yeah in decent little blade um cold steel um, some of their stuff's pretty good some of their stuff I'm not into but some of their stuff's pretty good so would I change some stuff in this kit? Yes, um, of course. I'd get better food besides the bacon. The, besides the, the Yoder's bacon, I would uh, change some stuff in there for the food. Long, more stable, long, long life stuff. Um, maybe do something a little bit better for shelter. But again, this is kind of more of a cash kit or a grab and go kit. Um, you know, not not terrible. So you can do some bartering with this, or you can dig it up and kind of get your basic needs going. Um, maybe a water bottle in there, but again, this is a five gallon bucket, so you're super limited on room, and you want it to be too heavy because it will be a pain to carry outside of the handle, unless you're gonna just throw it in the car, or you have a giant bucket pack that you could throw it in that's empty. Um, or, you know, you're going to bury it somewhere. So that's about it for this. I mean, decent decent kit. Again, a few things. Probably throwing, a, again, a Sunto compass or a better compass um, in that. Because that won't take up much room. But on this, just very limited space. But, you know, not bad. Bringing back some memories on this. Let me know what you all think. Take it easy. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit. And, you know, I really appreciate you 